Now, President Museveni has ordered his son, Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba, to back off making political statements on his social media platform. Museveni, in a recent interview, revealed that he held a discussion with Mohozi and ordered him to stop involving himself in partisan issues in Uganda or even other countries. Now, I quote, If he was tweeting on sports things which are not controversial, that wouldn't be a problem. But to talk about other countries or even the partisan politics of Uganda, that he must not do. But it seems Mohozi Kanerugaba disrespects his father's orders because later, after ordered to distance himself from matters politics, he took to his Twitter and said to the Ugandan opposition, after my father, I will defeat you badly in any election. Ugandans love me more than they will ever love you. So, isn't this statement political? I mean, how do you make such a statement when you're still an army officer? I think he's disrespecting his father's orders. Anyway, that's the latest update coming in from Jeno Mohozi Kanerugaba's camp. Now, some Ugandans believe that as a country, we are being led by people who are not supposed to be leaders of this generation. Baker Bate, a senior journalist from Uganda Radio Network, says President Museveni and some of his ministers should respect time and accept this generation to have its own leaders, not leaders from the past generation. We, the people who are leading this country, are not the people who are supposed to be leading this country. They are, they are part of the, the other generation. That's why he can he can afford to respond two months later when we have we have uh, because the social media moves on very quickly. Today, every day, I go on Twitter, I see another one trending. And we move on very fast. But we have people who should be at home doing the babysitting who are running the state and they have no idea whatsoever what the current state of affairs is. That's why you respond to tweets two months later in the writing. You say, I, I saw Bobby in writing about Tumine. Tumine died two months ago and Museveni has just realized, oh, somebody wrote about now, Uganda police in Jinja has arrested two candidates after court having sex in a guest house. They are part of the students that are going to write their Uganda certificate exams on Monday next week. The spokesperson of police in Kila region, Mr. James Mubi, says they have summoned the managers of the guest house, their head teacher, and the parents of both students have also been summoned. We are yet to receive more details from that side and I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Now, Lieutenant General Proskovia Naluiso has asked presidential advisor Catherine Kusasira to stop exposing her dissatisfaction with the NRM party in the media. General Naluiso's guidance comes after Kusasira appeared in the media explaining how President Museveni has failed to fulfill his promises yet she's in a huge debt. Now, General Naloiso, in a recent interview, said that Catherine Kusasira is a senior presidential advisor who has a free entry in any office of her choice, and therefore, there is no reason for going to the media to make unnecessary statements. <music> Meanwhile, speaking about presidential advisors, Ugandans on different social media platforms have been complaining about the significance of these presidential advisors in the country, yet they are paid huge amounts of taxpayers' money. There are reports that some of these advisors have never met the president to advise him. <laughs> That is Emmanuel Dombo, NRM party spokesperson. Now, different political analysts say uh, these presidential advisors are very many and yet they have no impact on issues happening in the country. According to reports, uh, President Museveni has more than 130 presidential advisors. Twinner duplications means. Benini, members of parliament, really, to be taga over 
Now, Uganda Air Force Aviation Unit of about 200 officers has been dispatched to Somalia to give support to the ground troops in the fight against the Al-Shabaab. They will be in Somalia for one year. Now, the deputy CDF, that is Geno Eluelu, while he flagged them off earlier this week at Soroti UPDF Air Force Training Wing, he asked the soldiers to maintain discipline and remain vigilant so that they are able to return back home alive. Otherwise, Al-Shabaab terrorism is a reality in Somalia. Well, right here on the Buzz UG, we wish them all the best. <music> There is a viral video of a female police officer preaching on the streets of Kampala using a megaphone. Now, this police officer is in trouble. Now, the senior commissioner of police, Hadija Namutebi, says this officer had been deployed but she unlawfully withdrew from her duties and went to preach on the streets of Kampala. She says they are not against anyone preaching the word of God, but the time when the preaching is done, where it's done, and how it's done becomes a subject of concern, especially when an officer abandons her duty to go and preach and more so in a police uniform. We are yet to know whether she'll be arraigned in court for what she did or not. Now, a few weeks ago, NTV Uganda's Farid Danakazwe attacked people who always demand for children from couples. Now, NBS TV's Kanari Mugume has also been attacked by someone on Twitter. The other day, Kanari Mugume commented on Manchester United's match that 17 minutes in the game, you haven't scored against a weak team and you call yourself a giant. Somebody then replied him that 13 months into your marriage and you have no kid, and you call yourself a man? Now, this statement has been trending so big time on social media. Some people are saying leave family issues alone because you have no idea on what they are going through as a couple. Anyway, I don't know what you think, but um, that's the latest update coming in from uh, Canary Mugume's camp. And he hasn't said anything regarding this matter. However much bloggers on different social media platforms are provoking him, but he's still very mute. He hasn't said anything. But in case he says something, I'll definitely keep you posted right here on The Buzz UG. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. And uh, in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.